Let's look at use case number six, comparative analysis. This is a strategy we can employ when we want to compare a few data points and when we want to quantify the difference between data points. In this example, we will compare some category sales to each other. We will show how much more or how much less one subcategory sales is compared to another. We will also summarize how many subcategories overall have more sales than the one that we are looking at. LOD expressions or level of detail expressions allow you to control the granularity or the level of detail of your expression. We usually resort to LODs when our viz or our charts have different levels of granularity than the calculations that we need. If you need an LOD expressions refresher, please check out another comprehensive tutorial I have on this topic. It starts from the basics and goes through the different types of LODs and the implications of the order of operations with LODs. I've also provided a link in the card above and description down below. Let's start by displaying each subcategory sales. So let's drag subcategory over. Let's also drag sales onto columns. And let's sort this. Now we want to be able to select a subcategory to compare against. So let's create a parameter that simply copies all the values of our subcategories. So right click on subcategory right now. We can create a parameter from here. So select parameter. What this does is it simply copies over all the current values and it will show it as a dropdown in a list. Let's click on OK and let's show our parameter. So let's start by figuring out the sales for the selected parameter. In this case, if the current selected one is accessories, accessories is right here, we want to know this particular sales amount. After that, what we want to do is we want to know how much more some of the other subcategories are making and how much less some of the other subcategories are making. Let's first create a calculated field that gets our selected subcategory sales. So on the dropdown, create calculated field. Let's call this selected subcategory sales. And in here, we need to check if the subcategory is equivalent to the selected subcategory. If it is, then we want to show the sales and then end. Click OK. Now let's display this. So drag it over to columns. And what we can see in here is it has selected only that bar. For any subcategory that doesn't match our parameter, it is empty. And that is to be expected. Now this poses some issues because what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to compare each of these bars or each of these numbers against the subcategory sales. With LOD expressions though, we can do that. We can exclude the current subcategory value in our expression. Thus, the only thing that will be left is the selected subcategory sales. Let's create a calculated field. So on the dropdown, create calculated field. Let's call this selected subcategory sales. And I'm just going to add exclude here because we are going to exclude our subcategory. Let's put our curly brace. Let's exclude subcategory. So drag that over a colon. And all we want left is the selected subcategory sales. So drag that over and then close the curly brace. Click OK. And let's display this. Just for reference, I'm going to add all the labels so we can see the numbers. So I'm going to select show mark labels. Let's explain this a little bit. The current selection is accessories. This matches that subcategory. So when there is a match, we are displaying the sales. However, some of these values are empty. And the reason for that is phones is not the same as accessories. If we eliminated subcategory, then we will still be left with this 167,000. And that's what we want to do. We want to have another field that we can use for a mathematical operation. We simply want the difference between the sales and the selected sales. The exclude allows us to do that. It's as if we don't have the subcategory in our view at all. Our expression doesn't even see the existence of subcategory. Once we have this in place, it is now actually easy to figure out what the differences are. So let's create another calculated field. Let's call this difference. And now this is a simple math operation. We want to take the sales and we want to subtract our calculation that has the exclude LOD. So drag that over and click OK. And then let's display the difference. Let's duplicate this worksheet and let's clean up the next worksheet. So right click, duplicate the worksheet. 
In this second worksheet, let's remove the middle two fields. So let's drag this out and drag that out. Let's also now remove our mark labels. For the second chart, I also want to color this based on the difference. So let's copy that over onto here. So right now, what we can see is accessories. There is zero difference because we are comparing a subcategory to itself, but we can see the difference against all the ones that are actually making more, and we can see the difference against all the ones that are making less. Let's try it for a different subcategory. So for example, we take tables. We can see that for tables, there are three subcategories that are making more, and the rest of them are making less. So this is one way we can do comparative analysis. Let's cap this example off by adding some kind of summary in our title. So let's create one more calculated field. And in here, we just want to count how many subcategories are actually making more so that we don't have to manually scan and count them. Let's call this number of subcategories with more sales. So the main logic in here is if this difference is greater than zero, then we are going to output just one and we're going to end this. Now, what will happen here is it will output one for each of the bars that are positive. Now, what we also want to do is we want to sum all of those ones. And because difference is already an aggregation, we're going to have to pass that to another table calculation. We are going to use the window sum table calculation function. So let's enclose the whole thing in a window sum, window underscore sum. And then let's close the parentheses. Click OK. Let's add this to our all marks card, put that in detail. And then now we can start using it in our title. So in insert, let's use that new field. Let's click on OK and let's test this out. Click OK. There are three subcategories with more sales than tables. Let's try to test out accessories again. So on the drop down, accessories. And in here, we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six positive bars. There are six subcategories that have more sales than accessories.